What is up, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chi or Aubrey, whatever you want to call me, bitch. It don't really matter, okay? As long as you call it, okay? Listen, I hope y'all enjoying these motherfucking videos that I am cranking the fuck out, okay? She ain't do her face for nothing, right? Okay? But listen, I wanted to talk to y'all about this whole Real Housewives of Atlanta situation that is going on. Apparently, okay, and the news broke maybe like two weeks ago. Apparently, they are really trying to figure out what the fuck they are doing with this new season. Because mind you, it's August 5th and uh, filming has been postponed, right? Filming has been postponed. And usually by this time, that's when we start getting all the rumors of, oh, who's supposed to be part of the cast? You know, what the next season storyline is looking like. Usually by September, October, we, we know even more because it usually fucking premieres in November, right? Now, we're at August 5th of 2021. They should at least be three months in the filming, but filming has been postponed because apparently the shit has been fucking whack. Okay, let's go ahead. Let me bring up this motherfucking article right here. It says The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 release date cast and reunion recap, right? So, The Real Housewives of Atlanta has been coming on Bravo since 2008, focusing on the dramatic lives of women in Atlanta, Georgia. The Real Housewives franchise's third installment, it has been one of the highest rated programs on um, Bravo, as reported by New York Daily News, is that the spinoffs like, you know, The Candy Factory, Audrey Manini, Don't Be Tardy. Child, ain't nobody watched none of that shit. That boring ass shit, okay? Last season, the Roa cast was made up of Candy, Cynthia, Kenya, Portia, and Dre, and, you know, of course, Tanya, Marlo, and Latoya. Now, basically, what's happened since is that the new seasons of Real Housewives of Atlanta, they're usually announced in September or October, followed by a premiere in November. Last season started in December due to being delayed by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Filming for this upcoming season started earlier this summer and production has hit a snag and is struggling to finalize the cast. And season 13 led to the lowest ratings ever for Roa, so the showrunners wanted to shake up the casting. While this ultimately should lead to more drama, which makes for good TV, it's caused a delay in filming, right? So who's going to be on this new season? So now they're saying that Cynthia may or may not be back. Okay, because listen, people have been trying to fire Cynthia for years. Even though Cynthia is kind of like a candy where it's like you kind of need it, you're kind of that nucleus. Like we kind of do need, you know, that portion of the show where, you know, that person on the show where you are neutral, right? And that's what Cynthia kind of serves. Like she serves as the neutral person, the person that's not going to get in the shits, but want to have a little quick read, but the person that kind of keeps shit light, funky, you know, airy, right? And so y'all have been trying to fire her every single year. And it seems like this might be the year where she actually fucking gets fired, right? Because right now they're saying that she basically fighting for her beach, okay? And Cynthia don't even know if she's going to come back or not because she got married to Will and it's like, Bitch, what the fuck else you about to give? Because you already got your happily ever after. Like, it ain't like you about to get pregnant at 55 years old. So what really more can you give? Now, we got Portia Williams, who recently got engaged to Simon. But y'all know Portia is busy filming her spinoff, which to me, if I was an exec over there at Bravo, what like, what, what are y'all doing? What are we really doing at Bravo? What are we really doing at Bravo? Because when it comes to Portia, Y'all should have wrote in Portia's contract that some of the storylines that she's doing on her own show, it should be saved for the Real Housewives of Atlanta season because what the entire fuck? Like, how do you allow this bitch to simultaneously film a season of her main show, her main bread and butter, but at the same time film her spinoff show? And what fucking world does that make sense? Even Carlos King was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I, I think Carlos King said that, Chad. Don't let me put words in his mouth. But yeah, we know Carlos, and that's probably what the fuck he thought, okay? But how do you let one of your biggest stars on your show film her own show and then use certain stuff? Like, no. We all saw how big of a storyline Portia, Simon, and Fallon was, which I told y'all. I told y'all hoes up front that it was a cash cow, that they was all in it together because y'all saw how Fallon did come out a couple of weeks ago with a, with several new interviews, suddenly hating Portia and su suddenly wanted to be like, oh yeah, me and this nigga are together and the rumors are true. Like, I told y'all. I fucking told y'all. Okay? But we already know what's going on with Portia and now Portia's saying that she don't want to come back because she don't want people digging into her marriage. Like, bitch. 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 Ma'am. Okay? 
And now, you know, they tossing around the idea of Sheree. You got every blog that's campaigning for uh, Phaedra. Marlo, who's been a friend of the show, she it's time for her to get an upgrade. So now, you know, now that she's dealing with her adopted nephews, now, you know, produces a thing about giving her a peach, which she needs one. Listen, Love B. Scott reports that showrunners want seven cast members on ROA. Bitch, they want seven cast members and so do I, okay? And they're looking for women that actually have husbands and significant others. And Love B. Scott also reported that Drew may not be back, but she has been filming with Portia on her spinoff, which to me is like y'all wasn't even that close for that to happen. So that does not make sense, okay? But they're reporting that we can expect to see Candy in Kenya, but no LaToya. Now listen. Listen, there was even a moment where they were talking about how, um, what do, what do you call her? Light skin Keisha might have been on the show, and it's like because even today, let me matter of fact, let me bring up the Peach report. Let me bring up the Peach report daily, because even the Peach report daily today, they posted some shit. That made me raise an eyebrow because if y'all remember a couple of weeks ago, it was being thrown out there that light skin Keisha might be on the show, right? Light skin Keisha might be on the show because, you know, she was seen, you know, at different events, testing as a friend and whatnot. And I'm like, how does this make sense? Light skin Keisha did not like loving hip hop. And so now she wants to do Real Housewives of Atlanta. What? So let me see. Where, where was the tweet? Where was the tweet? Because, child, they be doing so much campaigning for Sheree and Phaedra all goddamn day that it's just like, it's a goddamn shame. Okay, so let's bring it up. So, if a newcomer, if a newcomer being tested isn't a good fit, should another person who was offered a different role be upgraded so a cast can be properly finalized ahead of time? Now, mind you, what caught my eye, other than 11-11, hey, spirit, okay, in 223, hey, spirit, is the comment underneath. Somebody said, you said three women were fighting for two peaches. Now, if one newbie doesn't work out and we still have two newbies, I wouldn't mind Drew keeping her peach if we could get seven peaches. To which they responded, correct. They already had a spot that needed filling since last season and a new spot that recently opened up. Somebody also said, Marlo, getting upgraded also can apply to your scenario. <sighs> Here's my issue. Because when you say that somebody isn't working out and basically what you're alluding to is that Drew could get her peach back, but then also somebody like Light Skin Keisha can now have a peach because somebody else didn't work out. And so instead of three people fighting for two peaches, now it's just like, okay, let's give the two peaches back to... Because I'm assuming that basically what this means is that Drew got demoted to a friend and Latoya's completely gone. And then now Light Skin Keisha, Keisha, which is the only friend of the show that we know of right now, she automatically get the peach. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I I feel like this. And I'm going to say it again. I've been saying this shit for fucking years, right? I've been saying this shit for fucking years. Married to Medicine, that show needs a shakeup because it ain't nothing but old bitches up there and everybody except Jackie and um, except Jackie Quad and now that we know Anila. Jackie Quad, Anila, and Heavenly needs to say, not Jackie. Why do I keep saying Jackie? She, she the oldest one that need to go. Okay, she need she need to be the first one to go. On Married to Medicine, Heavenly, Quad, Anila, and Toya are the only four that should say. And then they need to bring in two new wives and then have, um, or no, bring in one new wife and then have two nurses. Okay? That may or may not have had an affair with a doctor. That's how you shake up Nary to medicine. Miss me with the, oh, we need to bring Qua, um, bring back um, Mariah, which brings me to Real Housewives of Atlanta. We don't need Nene back, and we don't need Phaedra, and we don't need Sheree, and we damn sure don't need Kim, okay? If they're going to bring back anybody of the past, bring back Lisa, okay? Bring back motherfucking Lisa, Liza, the Asian girl. Bring her back, okay? But bringing back Nene is not going to say the sinking shit, okay, when she's the one who cracked the fucking shit, okay? Bring it back fucking Phaedra, bring it back Sheree, and it recycling the same old bag of bitches is not what we want to see, okay? Do not get me wrong, because yes, they had their iconic moments and things like that, but even the grassy had to, had to realize at some point, baby, we got to shake it up, 
Okay, we got to shake it up. So I've been saying for years, the perfect cast needs to be this. Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15. What you need to do is call it Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I've been saying this since season 10. That's how I know. Okay, I've literally been saying this the last four or five years since season 10. Because season 10 would have been perfect, right? Because you had the cast as you had it. And then season five, that's when um, Kenya and Portia came into you know, the game. And then season 10, that's when the perfect shakeup would have been. But season 15, Real Housewives of Atlanta, New Blood. Call it Roa New Blood. Dub the season as that, right? Every old bitch on the show can go. Kenya can go. Candy can go. Cynthia can go. And you know what's crazy? I don't even think I had it like that at first. I didn't. Because this is when the cast was different. Okay, so before, the way I had it set up in my mind was all the old bitches could, could go. And I wanted, um, the only ones to be kept was Kenya, Nini, and Portia. Have all the old bitches bring in a mentor or, or a mentee, right? Like, for example, let Nini be a friend of the show. Let Cynthia be a friend of the show. And not a friend of the show, but an OG of the show. Have every person of the old cast introduce a new housewife for the new era while the old people become the OGs. And even now, especially that Portia is considering leaving and Portia done been on the show for nine years. Listen, at this point, let everybody the fuck go and let everybody introduce a new housewife to be on the show. And then all of the old people can become the OGs where they pop in and out just to see how they doing, you know, toss up the salad a little bit, throw a bone, carry a bone, but then let them go about their way. So that way, boom, all, all of us are still getting our nostalgia by, you know, seeing Nene on the screen every now and then, seeing Phaedra on the screen every now and then, but they're not staying there and keeping ratings at, at, in, in the fucking dirt, okay? But this show needs a fucking shakeup. And I've been saying that for years. Roa, new blood, or new blood versus OGs, or something to that effect, right? And if we're not going to do that, then a perfect cast to me would have been the same cast that we had last year, except give Latoya a peach and give Marlo a peach. That is the cast right there. Bring back Eva, bring back Shamari, um, who were perfect for the show to me. And I don't even think last season was that bad. I think we was in the middle of a fucking pandemic. They were like the first show to film, so they didn't know how they was going to fucking film. Production fucked up a lot of storylines. Adam fucked up a, a lot of shit for, for Latoya, who should have gotten a peach. And had she gotten a peach, we would have gotten a lot more fucking footage. Okay? And Tanya also fucked up the show. Everybody keep forgetting about Tanya. That's why Portia never fucking admitted that she slept with Bolo, because had she did that, it would have been incriminating fucking Tanya. Tanya said, fuck y'all and fuck this show. And once she left, a lot of the storylines and a lot of the drama had to go out the fucking window. So we should really be blaming Tanya in production for last season. But other than that, I feel like the girls brought it. Yes, Drew was unlikable. Yes, Drew started off a fan fave, became unlikable. Yes, uh, Latoya started off unlikable and became, you know, decent. But every girl served their purpose. And I would have loved to see a season with Drew and Latoya both holding a beach. That's just me. But I just wanted to speak on these rumors of the cash shakeup that's happening supposedly next season. Listen, I don't know what they need to do, but I'm telling you, bringing back Nene, Sheree, and Phaedra, that ain't cutting it. And all of these blogs like Peach Report and all of them that keep trying to force this concept, this idea of bringing them back, I'm sorry. No, stop campaigning for these hoes. No. Nene was on the show and became unbearable. Nene has not been likable since before she got on Apprentice. After that, Nene started feeling herself. But listen, it's time for me to go. Y'all can hear it in my voice. It's literally 2.30 in the morning. I love each and every one of y'all. I hope y'all thumbs this up. Enjoy this. Definitely, if you enjoy hearing me talk, enjoy hearing my commentary. Make sure that, you know, be on the lookout for my podcast. Let's start there. It is coming next week, starting August 11th, okay? New episodes will be available. But if you want to get new episodes before next week, okay, you want access to, you know, for uh, episodes that are coming, definitely make sure that you sign up for patreon.com slash Sky Santana World. That information will be in the description box below for you to, um, yeah, sign up for my Patreon and you get bonus exclusive videos, content, and you will have, you know, podcast episodes ahead of schedule. Okay. So I love each and every one of y'all. Definitely make sure that you follow me on Twitter. Okay. Follow me on Twitter, y'all. That's why I talk my shit. Okay. 
And follow me on Instagram as well. Okay. I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and stream my music. She's a fine, she's a dime, titties, oh, she's a fine, she got shine, she got dime, she got moolah, moolah, fine, she's a